look fantastic. I like that dress. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, thanks. You really look great. You look, I like that. It's very sparkly. And thanks. really, you could wear that to the Oscars, or is it not fancy enough for the Oscars? Well, I, you know what? I hadn't thought about it, but... Um... It might be too late now. Might be too late. Are you already <laughs> thinking about what you're... Do you know what you're going to wear to the Oscars? I don't, actually. You no. don't? Mm -mm. Somebody okay. else will figure that out, though, yeah? Oh, uh, you know, I'd like to be a part of the conversation. You'd like to be a part of it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you won the SAG Award. You won the Golden Globe. You... I know you're going to the BAFTAs, right, in London. Mm -hmm. Is it true you're driving yourself to the airport? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then everybody? <laughs> no. And then how will it work? You'll park yourself and then go in? That's usually how it works. <laughs> <laughs> At LAX, that's like, I know to most people in normal places, that sounds like, yeah, okay, that's no big deal. Yeah. But to go, that's a real commitment. Yeah, no, it really is. It's a sojourn. Yeah, you may never come back. It's <laughs> yeah, you're asking like a million people to go into one circle and be polite to each other all at the same time. And they've closed off almost all the parking at LAX. So there's, you just go around in a circle and you curse and you drive away. You're right. You know what? It's nice to see you. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you won Best Supporting Actress Oscar in, what year was that, 2004? I can't remember. 2004, I believe, for Cold Mountain, the movie was Cold it Mountain. 2004? I, I think so. I... <laughs> what do you... Do you have like a um, something that stands out in your memory uh, above other, all others besides winning the Oscar itself? Uh, it's such a weird moment, you know, that you just remember that your plan to not do that spiral that you see people do on TV when you roll your eyes, it just goes out the window. <laughs> You're not going to be the geek person who freezes up and can't hear anything and gets emotional, and then you know somebody says your name and you hear this like. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, and then you do the geek spiral. You do. You do the geek spiral, and you hope that you don't stumble on the way up. And I couldn't hear anything, and I didn't remember anything. And I remember somebody was talking, and I guess it was me. Um, <laughs> and I was looking out at the, at, the, at the audience of, you know, my coworkers for so many years and friends and, you know, people I've admired forever and ever. Fan, yes, geek fan in that room, <laughs> big time. And I remember thinking, my gosh, it's like the Sgt. Pepper's album cover. <laughs> All these famous people just frozen, just staring. And, and I remember Sean Penn was at 12 o'clock. And he was just smiling. I remember. So I was talking, going, that's Sean Penn. So I don't remember what I said, but I do remember thinking. You got spicolied in the middle of your speech. Thank you, I did. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thing, actually. No, I, not at all. In thanks fact, for pointing that out. it's I'm a pretty good thing. You're on, <laughs> I, no, no, I assume you've seen this, but you are on the cover of Vanity Fair oh, this month with Eddie Murphy <laughs> and Jennifer Lopez <laughs> as part of the world's least scary biker gang. <laughs> Were you really on Eddie's back, or is this like pieced together with Photoshop? That I'm telling you, that's the way to meet somebody right there. <laughs> is it? <laughs> How are you? All right, hop on. <laughs> so yeah. how long did it take to, to do this? It wasn't that long. Not too long? It was long for my left thigh, because I was balancing on my tippy toe, trying what? to be Did you say at any cool. point, like, hey, I'd like to be one of the people <laughs> driving the motorcycle? I didn't really care, because Eddie Murphy was going to be there with oh, okay. and J-Lo. I was like, whatever. <laughs> did you have fun? Was he, was he? Oh, he's so nice. Was so, he so amusing nice. you there? So at fun. The... Yeah. You know, yeah. I was just playing some music and singing. He's got a lovely voice. It was fun. And I was just trying to, you know, not put all my weight on him. Because just, you know, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. He's I'm sitting there and trying to be like, you know. He's a sturdy <laughs> hold man. Myself up. I'm sure he could have handled the task. Yes. But I wasn't going to, you know, we just met. So I, I want to ask you something. You know. Do you recognize this oh. home that is currently for sale? <laughs> built that house. This is. Yes. This home won't last. Once home to famed actress Renee Zellweger. This was your childhood home? It was one of them, yeah. That was my dad's dream. My dad is a Swiss engineer. And so he was always building things with his soldering iron on the dining room table. 
And, uh, and he built and he a drew house? The plan well, no. Yeah. Oh, not with that. Yeah. <laughs> he drew the plans on the dining room table. And then one day, one day, one day, and he bought that land from one of his coworkers. And we planted some little baby pine trees, you know, that have grown to That be, are big now, yeah. Uh, I don't think they made the cut in the photo. But anyhow, yeah, we built that house. We put the septic system in. We were out there in the yard with the ditch witch. And, uh, Is that right? Oh, yeah. You oh, do yeah, help? No, want, Dad wants to do it right. You know, if it's worth <laughs> doing, you do it right. If you want it done right, you do it yourself. Is that that's how? Yeah. Is, yeah, so we did it. <laughs> we built a septic system together. Hey, oh, the things you can do with a family. Do, your, do they, does your dad, like, does your family have a little party and watch the, like, the Oscars when, and these shows when you're nominated for them? Um, yeah, they actually, do. yeah. And did you call them right afterwards? But in 2000 and... Well, for what, I mean, like, you won the SAG Award, you won the oh, Golden right. Globe. Do you call them up? Um, well, yeah, I don't bring my phone in with me, but you after yeah. it's over, I do. You have to yeah. check in with them, and then everybody screams and all that stuff? Yeah, that kind of thing. It's yeah. very sweet. <laughs> you know, maybe one of them could drop you off at the airport would be a nice <laughs> thing. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. The movie is called Judy. Renee Zellweger is here. We'll be right back. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high There's a land that I've heard of Once in a lullaby That is Renee Zellweger in Judy, which is in theaters now, for which uh, you've won many awards and are nominated for an Academy Award as well. Uh, this, what a sad, what a sad life she had. It, talk about a little bit about um, this period of, of Judy Garland's life, because I didn't really know much about her before I saw this. I mean, of course, I know she was in Wizard of Oz, and then, and then the, it's, it's really a tough go she had, it seems. Well, um, I didn't know much about this chapter of her life either. You know, this is towards the end of her life. She did a series of concerts over in London at the Talk of the Town nightclub. And, uh, yeah, she was facing some financial hardships. She didn't really have a place to live. And she was not getting uh, work because she was considered unemployable. Uh -huh. um, and so she went over and did these, these concerts. And, and the movie touches on that period in her life where she was kind of uh, trying to get her, her, her next new chapter going, you know. Separated um, from her children, yeah. which was very tough. Yeah. Yeah, and the I, I have to compliment you on the your singing in the movie, not just because it's very good, but on top of it, you really, a lot of times in these movies, they'll record the, the vocal track in a studio, and then you go lip sync, you pretend mm -hmm. to be singing, but you really did the singing there in front of everyone each time on camera. Mm -hmm. that's, okay. that's so much better, I think. It's, that's the way to go. Did you want to do it like that? No. No. <laughs> No, definitely not. <laughs> but Rupert, the director, he thought that that would be better, too. But I didn't think he was serious. I thought I would be able to talk him out of it on the day. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, you were unable to talk him out yeah, of it? Yeah, I couldn't talk him out And of did it. that frighten you, singing oh. live in front of the crew? And, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. To an extreme extent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you know, that's what a tight schedule is good for, because you don't have a chance, you know, there's no time to sit around and, and you know, try to, you know, I don't know. Think Fight, about it get too around much. It. Yeah, you, yeah, you just gotta gotta go do it. And I was lucky, you know, everybody in the audience, all actors, and so by you know the time we're doing these performances, we'd all been talking and telling stories and things like that. So suddenly it was, you know, friends, just friends. Yeah, it was like karaoke, except you were the only one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you also recorded the soundtrack at um, at Abbey Road. Yes. Which is, uh, are you a big Beatles fan? Oh, I yeah. presume. All, all my life. Yeah. How about you? Oh, very much so, yeah. yes. Even more so now that my uh, my kids are young because they love uh, Beat Bugs on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? It's uh, Bugs sing the Beatles songs, oh, and that's now the, the best Beatles thing I've have. Ever heard. Yeah, it's it's pretty good actually. I recommend it. I don't know how I got off on that, but, <laughs> but there's a uh, <laughs> this is um, there's you crossing uh, the famous pose. You did, couldn't round up three friends. <laughs> Really, really <laughs> what early. time was it when you did this? I was probably seven, maybe. Are people more? considerate? Because like everybody's taking pictures there all day, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. People take turns. It's really sweet. But there wasn't anybody lined up waiting at that hour. So who took the picture you. for uh, for you? 
uh, David Livingstone, producer. Oh, he and then did you turn around and take a picture of him crossing? Uh, he's English. Oh, he's so. English. So it's <laughs> <laughs> it's like going up to the Hollywood sign, right? We don't do it here. <laughs> yeah. <enough>. Yeah. <laughs> well, very good. Well, I know you have to go to London. Will you be watching the Super Bowl, or are you? T or is there too much? Uh, oh, are you yeah, winning I'll too find many a way. awards? Okay. <laughs> you will watch it in London, or you will yeah, come I'll back? I'll find a way. Oh no, I'll find a way. You will find a oh, way. Yeah, I gotta see Jayla do her thing. <laughs> is that what you're? Are yeah. you a? Are you rooting for either of the teams? I'm rooting for Jayla. You're rooting for J-Lo. Well, she's going to win either way. I know, right? Yeah. I'm well, it's very good to, to see you. Congratulations on all the accolades. The movie is called Judy. It's in theaters now. Renee Zellweger, everybody. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So um, you know what to do.